clips that are loaded and several crates of loose ammunition that we can reload after. Huh? Can you shoot it mounted? No, it's just it, usually. No, it, it, it can be, but... Yes, this one here is meant to be carried with a person. And it's actually, the second battalion was carried like this. It's meant to be shoulder fired, so you can aim it. It's very accurate. It doesn't jump as much as the American VAR because it's heavy. Okay, the barrel's a quick change barrel. You just lift this, rotate the barrel, and it comes right out. Oh, no, this is a British gun. This is the British bread. They fold up. Okay, so you can carry it like that. And you can also put it up on the top. So that if you're running, wow. you don't want to aim it, you can carry it. Okay, all right, no problem. It's a bayonet. The guys that um, use this gun all had a bayonet with them, I mean the, the machete with them, I'm sorry, so that they could clear away the bushes in front of them so that they could shoot. No, probably not, not too much. They wouldn't get in close to Okay, thank you. Alright, no problem guys. Have any questions? You doing alright sir? Yeah, well, this was on the History Channel. Which one, the Sten? Uh, no, this one right here. The Bren, absolutely. That was used from something like 36 or 38 all the way to 1980 Well, in 1960-something, they rechambered it for 7.62 for NATO. And they still okay, make yeah. them. And they still use them. Not active duty, though, in Britain. But uh, other countries still use them. Yeah, absolutely. They were comparing this to the VAR. And right. Like the engines, like you say, you can change the barrel and it's more accurate because it doesn't jump. It's heavier, so you don't have the jump with it. But it is a very accurate rifle. They, they, they loved it to death. The British 303 round is a great round. It's been around for you know, 150, 200 years, I guess. Uh, but this gun, because of its weight, and the ease of changing the barrel, you can keep the accuracy going with it. Mm. The problem with the BAR is it's lighter, so it jumps, but it's also more complicated to change the barrel, so they didn't change it as often. Mm. The gunner and the assistant gunner carried with them two spare bags. One is this little bag back here with snaps, which have all the springs and clips and nuts and bolts for this thing to replace every one of them. And then they had a spare barrel bag, which they carried an extra barrel with. And when this one got hot, they changed the barrel. That's the gunner's glove for the gunner, the assistant gunner, to grab the barrel with when he's taking right, it Right, because he could even burn his wrist, not just the hand. Right, that's the whole arm. Wow, then it's got the clip container. I've never noticed. Yep. Wow, I didn't know they carried them in a whole box. Absolutely. Those were for loaded magazines. We also had crates. Everybody had Like, there's two small crates over there for British 303 uh, ammo. And then after the fight, you sit there and reload everything. Clever, clever those British. Going to 30. <laughs> they, they typically load at 23. But it held 30. Thank you. Oh, no problem, sir.